Welcome back to Chris Review Stuff. Today we're going to be doing the Kakshun uh, electric kettle. Now don't say tea kettle because you can do a lot more with this than just tea. Um, this does, uh, this has different settings with temperatures. So at 105 degrees you can do like milk or tea milk. At 160 you can do your green tea. Your 175 you can do oolong. Coffee at 195 and if you don't set anything it's going to go to 212 degrees Fahrenheit for black tea or your, your puar, which is like that, um, that fermented tea. It's a really nice, um, it's a really nice design, and that's those being able to change the temperatures is really a selling point for me for this. It's um, double walled, so you have your plastic on the outside glass and the inside, so you can kind of touch this a little warm when it's being used, but it's not hot, so you can actually touch it and not worry about kids burning themselves. Big handle, so you're not gonna um, not gonna burn yourself either or the, or anything with this this handle. It's very cool when you pick it up. So you don't have to worry about, sometimes with my, electric, with my kettle on the, on the stove, the handle gets hot if you use, it, you know, if you use a pot holder for that. Not with this, not at all. Nice big open uh, here so I can get in here and clean, no problem. You can see with the other video I did on another tea kettle, electric tea kettle, um, it just boils water. One temperature, that's it. This one does multiple. And the handle on that one's a little hard to get into. This one's really a little bigger, so I feel I can get in here and clean a little easier. It also has a nice uh, filter built in. The other tea kettle I did, um, you can take that tea kettle, you can take that, that filter off much easier. This one you kind of have to get some tools and kind of pull a little pieces out, kind of wiggle it out of there. It does come off, but it's a little difficult to take off. Um, so if you're trying to clean that, it's, it's difficult. The filter's there because if you do brew your tea on the inside of this with the tea floating in here, that will help prevent most of that those tea leaves that come out. Some still will come out because it is not a tight seal. The other tea kettle I did is it has, it has a tighter seal, but you're not going to get the big flakes in your tea if you use this filter. All right, so here's the base. It has about maybe a two foot, three foot long cord on it. Um, it does allow you to wrap this around about the bottom on it. So in case you don't need it to be so long, you can kind of make it smaller for little safety reasons or just a safe space. It does have a nice cutout in the back here. So you, um, nice big steps too. So you're not going to be worrying about this not being level and flush. This will only turn on when plugged in and when the tea kettle is on it. It will not um, heat up, it will not turn on, none of these buttons will work until you put the tea kettle on and plugged in. So it's pretty good because you won't have to worry about this malfunctioning or causing a short somehow. You press, the, it's a touch button, you press on or off, and you have a keep warm button. Uh, if you just turn it on, it's going to boil that water to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And with each press of the keep warm button, you'll bring it down to 195, 175, 160, and 105 for your different degrees of for, te for, um, your, for your tea or milk. So let's go ahead and we're going to do, I'm going to fill this up. We're going to put four cups of water in here and we're going to see how long it takes for that four cups to warm up and boil. And we'll set it at the highest temperatures because that's pretty much you can guarantee, you can see, you can gauge where you're going to go. I'm doing four cups of water because I'm never going to drink, me personally don't drink more than four cups. I usually drink two, maybe my wife will have one or two as well. And um, But they do regulate, they do say that this can do 212 degrees Fahrenheit, full water, 1.7 liters at six minutes. So we're going to see how well that goes. Um, four cups is about, you know, a little over a liter. You do have it measured out at half a liter, one liter, 1.5 liters, and 1.7, which is going to be your max. So they, they recommend don't go over 1.7 liters. So let's go ahead and put that water in here and see how it goes. All right, so we have four cups of water in here, which is just over a liter of water. And I just plugged it in, yet to turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn it on and start the timer. All right, so you can see it kind of lights up blue to show that it's on, it's working. Uh, the temperature right now, the water is just about room temperature. Um, I don't, can't, it's, can't, it's a candy thermometer, so it won't show below 100 degrees. You'll see my prior video of an electric kettle, probably up here, I'll put it here. Um, I used a Weber electric thermometer. It's broken. We don't know how it broke, why it's broken, but we just can't get it to work. So we're stuck with the candy thermometer. And the candy thermometer is really good. It's pretty accurate as far as, really, as far as I can tell it. I can get good yeast with it, so this is the most accurate thermometer in the house right now. So you can kind of hear it starting to bubble, trying to get that water really hot. Um, and yet this is maybe still room temperature touching this. I don't really feel it getting warm yet. Obviously the handle is going to be great. Um, so we're at 49 seconds in right now. We are at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see the bubbles starting to form. And what you could do right now is you could change it to the, if you press that keep warm button, it'll change it back, it'll change the temperature to what you want it to be. I like that feature. It's really nice to have that feature built into this. 
because it's awesome. You know, like, like I said, for me, it's great because I can keep my temperature in my tea what I want it to be, so I don't have to wait so long to, to brew it. Also, they recommend certain teas don't reach a certain temperature because it can kind of damage the tea leaves itself or kind of hurt the brewing process. So at 100, well, actually, at 1 minute 30 seconds in, we're just about 140 degrees. So we're on par right now to reach that under six minutes at full water, so. One thing I don't like about this, though, is the kettle itself has little feet on it. So if you put it like on a, a countertop, then it's level, it's nice. But if you put it on something like a book, or if you put it on something that's not level, or two of the feet are gonna be on it, two of them won't be, it really feels off balance. Uh, it does not feel like it's, it's balanced at all. So, whereas the other tea kettle, it doesn't have little feet on it, so you can place it on something and it, it holds, it's more balanced, they feel. I feel that these four feet on the kettle itself, not the base, the kettle, make it unbalanced. I don't like it. My wife has been using it too. She does not, she finds it kind of annoying as well because if you don't put it, if you happen to put one of those feet on a crumb or something, it really off kilters the whole kettle. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes, 30 seconds, we are at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Going well. Um, so under three minutes, we're already at where I want my tea to be, pretty much, with four cups of water. It's really cool. It, it looks really nice in, in the kitchen as well. The um, handle's still cool, no problem there. Okay, this is getting warm, the closer to the bottom a little. No, this is really good. I. Um, don't feel it's warm, but I would be fine with my kids touching. I'm not a problem. 180 degrees at 300, at three minutes and 10 seconds. Almost at 190 at three minutes. 320, three minutes 20 seconds. We're at 100, 190 degrees. It's pretty good. It's starting to fog up on the kettle, um, so it's getting a little difficult to see. We're almost at 200 degrees. Let's see if I can get this. Nope, of course not. So it's going well. We really like this. We've been leaving it out on the counter. Um, instead of using the, the stove top to do the water, this I just feel it's a lot easier. It's a whole lot quicker. And it's a lot safer too because you don't have to worry about the, the fire. The kettle itself gets warm. So this is nice. Really, really rapidly boiling here. Uh, warmer than before, but yet not hot. Still very variable. So it's reaching max. It's reached its max temperature at four minutes and ten seconds for four cups of water. So four minutes ten seconds. It's reached 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot. Which is what this was about. So. For me pulling it out, that was where it was. Put this over here. So the thermometer, the the, in, the technology in this kettle matched what my candy thermometer read to about one degree. Um, so it looked about 212 degrees on my candy thermometer, and that's what it says it should be at. So 212 degrees took four minutes, ten seconds to heat to boil four cups of water, just over a liter of water. That's pretty good. So I definitely could see it being within that six minutes for the full kettle of water, which is, you know, 1.7 liters, which is maybe seven cups of water, six cups of water. Um, so really awesome. Um, great product. Um, we have been using this one a lot more than the other electric kettle, only because this has more features. I like being able to change the temperature. Again, that's huge. The other one just allows you to boil water to whatever temperature it says you should boil water at. Whereas this allows you to change the temperatures, um, and we've we've measured the 175, and it was about 175, so that was pretty cool. We haven't really boiled water at the max 212 yet, so that was the first time we've done it, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, for really accurate with its temperatures, um, really easy to use, still not hot. I can keep my hand here probably all day, and um, because it's double walled, you won't feel the temperature, the heat escaping so fast that it'll burn you. Handle again. Really, no heat at all, nothing at all. The top, the top's a little wet because I had the top open, 
but yet that's not hot either. I wouldn't want to touch the glass because I, I bet you the glass is really hot, but you're not going to touch the glass anyway. But um, ooh, the glass is really hot. So you can see here there's a, there's a line. Um, don't touch above that line. That's hot. Like that's hot. Below here is the plastic. That's just warm, no problem whatsoever. The auto turn off feature is really cool, so you don't have to worry about it boiling the water away, which is a problem I had with the other tea kettle, which was a defect. The other tea kettle, the tea, the other tea kettle I have is a defect. We had to simply get another one. Uh, it should turn off once it reaches at max temperature. That one did not. Um, this one does. Um, and it does have a six hour warm feature. So you can leave your tea warm, set that warm button, and it'll keep it warm for up to six hours, which is nuts, which is really cool, I guess. Because what if you, you know, it's kind of a pain if, you, um, if you've made tea before coffee, you know that you have to let that kettle get cool before you can add more water to it. So keeping warm water all day or up to six hours is really nice because, hey, I'm in the mood for tea right now in an hour, boom, it's, it's ready. I don't have to wait those four minutes, you know. Uh, but anyway, this is the coction or coction or co I think it's coction, the electric kettle. Um, awesome, really cool product. Fairly ex inexpensive. Well, all, this is maybe thirty bucks on Amazon. Uh, this is a great gift. Uh, this is a great gift for yourself or for anyone else that really enjoys teas, uh, different kinds of tea. Because you can set the temperature, you can enjoy different types of tea at what their optimal temperatures should be, and they're brewing and they're steeping temperatures. Anyway, if this video was awesome or helpful in any way, please subscribe. Please subscribe to us. Um, so anyway, thanks again for checking out Chris Review stuff. And this is the Coction Electric Tea Kettle.